What's good, fam? It's your stepfather, Ron Effect, back with another New York Giants video. All right, so uh, I woke up a little bit late. Like, I was, like, up all night. I slept and then woke up at, like, 6. Anyways, I mean, I got the news. Evan Ingram is injured. He has a, he, uh, a sprained MCL. I guess that's in his knee. I was telling you yesterday in the um, post-game video, you know, freaking the freaking... Uh, Houston Texans secondary, it was what, Kareem Jackson, the safety? Bits don't know how to tackle. And, you know, he was, like, hitting low, like, hitting, you know, like, with his shoulder. However he was hitting, but first, Saquon Barkley got hit, and he got shaken up, was out for a play or two. And then, like, the same drive, I'm going to show you the clip right here on Evan Ingram, where he hit him low, and then Evan Ingram, that was when he went out for the game. Here, let me show you the clip. Play fake, throws, and it's complete for a first down at four to the tight end, Evan Ingram. I love Eli out of the pocket here. So it was on that play right there is where that took Ingram out for the game. It was where he sprained his MCL. So it's like, it's crazy how they're fining and penalizing Clay Matthews out here for making clean sacks, but they're letting these clowns get away with that. Because now, now freaking Evan Ingram's out for what, estimated four to six weeks. Some say he'll be back sooner. Either way, I'm grateful it's not a season-ending injury. But it's like, looking at the replay, like, watch it again. Rewind this video and watch that little clip again. It's like... He's going towards the out of bounds. Like he didn't need to like go that low. You couldn't like stand up and like, I understand, you know, going for the taking out their legs. You know, the, a guy can't run out his legs. We learned that in football. You know, old tackle the legs. He didn't even wrap up or anything. Like you're spearing at their their shins and knees and stuff. And now look what happened. So yeah, Kareem Jackson is a clown. But yeah, man, it's crazy. It's like I don't like when our players get injured. Any player gets injured off of bull like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's wild, man. So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know that. Red Ellison's going to have to step up. And, yeah, we'll have Evan Ingram back. But, yeah, bro, Kareem Jackson's a bitch, bro. Like, I'm not saying he did it intentionally. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, oh, he did this intentionally. I'm just saying him being a weak tackler, don't know how to tackle, you know. And just for the fact that it was near the sideline, too, bro. Like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, speedy recovery for Evan Ingram. Glad we got the win. So glad we got the wings. That would have been like double crappy if we got the loss and lose Evan Ingram for a couple weeks. So yeah, I was just in Walmart just now, bro, getting like this cloth or whatever for like New York Giants cloth, like for my background. And um, freaking while the girl was cutting it, you know, she's pretty. While she was cutting it or whatever, um, you know, there's a guy standing there. He was like talking all slow and just like, oh, do you have like you know you like you trying to listen? It's like somebody trying to tell you something, but you don't understand what they're saying. He's like, oh, do you guys have the glue, the the, the blue, the, the? and she's like, what well, blue light? Uh, and he's like, no, no, the glue, the, the hanging. Uh, da, da, da. And then she's like, oh, the hang stuff, like you know, because we're trying. I'm trying to help her listen to the guy with it, right? And then he's like, oh yeah, he's like, oh hold on. She's like, oh hold on, I'll show you while she was helping me. So she helped me. She's like cutting the cloth or whatever, and um. He's cutting the cloth or whatever, and then he, while he's watching, he goes, "I hate them." Like he, and then he turns up. This I'm saying is that he turns up. He's like, "Oh, I hate them." He's like, "Oh, what the Giants?" Like, oh yeah, I hate them. And then I think she asks him, "Oh, what's her what's favorite team or something?" But he's like, "Oh, he's an Eagles fan." And then I was like, "Oh, I'm an Eagles fan." And then what did I say? I forgot what I said. Oh, I said, oh, everybody hates a winner. Like, I say that. Like, that's the thing. It's like, I don't get, well, he's an Eagles fan, though. I guess that's why he hates them, because I always hear that all the time. People see me and my Giants stuff or see me buying something Giants-related, and also, oh, I hate them. Uh, even though the, the manager there, Angel, shout out to Angel if you're watching. I met you yesterday, just saw you a couple minutes ago. Angel's a Giants fan. Gave him my car, too. Uh, so, shout out to Angel. Shout out to all the Giants fans out there who know me or that I've met. Um, anyways, uh, how'd that go? Anyway, so I was like, oh, everybody hates a winner. And then he's like, oh, um, what the heck? <sighs> what the heck? How did it go after that? He, would, he, Of course, he brought up the Super Bowl. Ever since the Eagles won that Super Bowl, y'all ain't been acting right, bro. This is why some people don't de deserve it. This is why some people who never had nothing don't deserve it when they get it. Don't deserve it. The Browns fans may act like that a little bit, too. Y'all getting y'all y'all wins up now. Everybody, oh, this team got less wins than the Browns. Oh, the Browns would have smoked it after the Browns beat the um, Jets. You know, I was congratulating them in that video. And Browns fans are like, oh, the Browns would have smoked the Giants, too. Man, calm down. Calm down. Be humble. That's why some people don't deserve nothing. You've been tortured forever. You've been tortured forever. You know, Eagles not winning any Super Bowls in the longest. Finally get one, acted a fool towards other people. The Browns, y'all finally broke the freaking death curse. And now y'all acted a fool. 
It's wild. But yeah, he was like, oh, we won, we won stuff, we won uh championships before that. So have the Giants. But I hate when they go to that too. Y'all just got to our first Super Bowl, and then y'all try to fluff it up by saying championships before the merger. Okay, if that's the case, the Giants are still beating y'all then. The Giants still have championships before that. So we're still in the lead. Like, what are we doing here? And um, but yeah, that's the thing he kicked up. My, I, my point is, how you go from, uh, yeah, can you have to, to, to not be able to, like, nah, I'm not saying not be able to talk right, because he can talk right, because he kicked up. He, when we started talking about the Giants and the Eagles, that's where he kicked up. That's where his energy kicked up, bro. So how you go from, uh, 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 oh, well, the Eagles, oh, we had championships before that. The Eagles have championships before that. Like, and then, like, kicking up, bro. Like, oh, my God, weird looking. Looks like he wears a reticle and sips tea and stuff, bro. Sips tea and crumpets. I, I don't even know. He look look all kinds of weird, bro. Just walking. I hate running into that. Man, I'm gonna be prepared. I'm. I, I should have whipped out the camera, bro. Damn it! I had this camera in my pocket because I wanted to do this video right here. So when I get home, I'm upload. Damn, bro. I should have put him on a think, Ron. Think. Damn, bro, I should have whipped out the camera, bro. Should have whipped out the camera. I'm like, oh, tell the Eagles fans how you feel. It's so prideful. How long you been an Eagle? Oh, oh I got to think, bro. Damn it, I got to stop doing that. I got to stop. I'm carrying this thing everywhere from now on. Everywhere. Everywhere I go, this camera's coming with me. You got Eagles fans walling out out here in Jersey, bro. I'm not saying you can't be a fan from... You be a fan wherever you are. I know people have... Pro oh, Ron, I live in uh, Wisconsin, and people give me crap about being... You can live whatever. I'm just saying the Eagles fan base has kicked up recently. That's how it goes. You know, when it's... Like the Warriors, like NBA. Oh, the Warriors. Everybody's a Warriors fan now. Uh, what other sports can I think of? Like a team wins now. All of a sudden, everybody's that fan. But, uh, yeah, hey, bro, it's wild. Anyway, so yeah, Evan Ingram, he's injured. He'll be back, you know, soon. Not, no season-long injury or whatever. Speed recovery. Maybe he might be back sooner than, you know, a couple weeks. And glad we got this dub. I'll be back with the takeaways tomorrow. We'll look under the look at the Texans game under a microscope. And then we'll look forward to playing at home. So yeah, love all you guys. Thank you for watching this video. And shout-outs to people that shop at Walmart. <laughs> so, and work at Walmart, too. Shout-outs to them. You guys are very kind. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Until next time. Jersey. So I stay. Playing the game and you talking like you skip Bayless. Criticize he who made it, calling it entertainment. Difference with you and Skip is you ain't the one getting payments.